Hey, 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 Point Pros, well, welcome to the morning workout. Good morning. You're with the lovely Laura. Good morning. That's right. I'm with your beanie. Oh. My million dollar woman. Uh huh. Uh huh. Driving into the sun. It's so bright. All right. Welcome to the morning workout again. Yeah. Coming at you live on the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Got a workout in. I admit, I, if, I'm, if I seem a little subdued. Yes. I just had a leg workout. <laughs> and I tell you, I keep. <laughs> I think everybody knows how much you love I, your legs. I leg love the legs working. <laughs> oh, Not man. so much. Yes. And my buddy, our buddy Keith is back in town. And uh, so he kept me honest. Picking your butt. Yep. Um, okay, I would love, I know some people are saying hi, but I can't see. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jeff. Hey, good morning, Ann. We got the babes on. Hey, babes. Hey, we miss you. Sorry, last night. We had a potty talk live. I tell you. Hey, JT. I know I didn't show it on camera. At least I hope I didn't show it. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully the camera was off. But I was about ready to come unglued. I'm so tired of technical difficulties. Stuff yes. that just, you get it set, and it's just, it's, you know. Ah. Uh, I know. It's just, yeah, it's just, it, I don't know. You were a fly on the wall in the potty talk live studios last night. I just don't, uh, yeah. Anyway. Anyways. Yeah, I don't want to So go. big changes coming to Potty Talk. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Big. Yes. Huge. We're going to change things up because I'm not dealing with these these kinds of strain and difficulties <coughs> any longer. Uh-uh. All right? Mm -hmm. Takes the fun out of it. I know. Hey, All right? I know. So, but appreciate everyone's patience. I know. You know, we were just... you got to see the car, you know, the car crash, you know, firsthand <laughs> over there watching. I don't know. I think it was glitching so much they couldn't really tell how bad it was car crashing. You know. But. Anyways. Anywho. Okay. The word of the day. Word of the day. That's right. What is the word of the day? Honor. Honor. That's a good one. <laughs> Are you ever going to say, oh, that one's stupid. Well, they're all good. <laughs> That's a good word. Honor. Okay, honor. All right. All right. Riff. The little game we play go. here. She comes, we have the word of the day and she throws it at me. And I kind of just go off the top of my, my head, which... A lot of times, that's where the drama is. It gets me in trouble. Because <laughs> <laughs> what comes up, not always best to say what just comes to the top of your mind. But when I think of that's honor, the you know, the first thing I think of when yes. I think of honor, I think what our founding fathers did, which was an extremely, this is what's, what's unique and rare about America. America. The first, the first peoples on the face of the planet that did this, when they pledged their lives, their fortunes, uh -huh. and their sacred honor, all right, to the Declaration of Independence. When they signed that, saying that that we um, that God has created us, that we are created free men, and we're created a society of free men that's uh, ruled by men and ruled by law. Okay, um, and they pledged their lives. That means they literally gave their lives, all their lives. You know, um, a lot of a lot of them went broke. Schools but by all them, all of them went broke. Um, Many, which we don't report, actually lost their homes, okay? We only kind of now in history will, will report, you know, Ben Franklin and, you know, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. But Those are the well-known ones. Those are the well-known ones. But the majority of the, the signers lost their homes, okay, even lost their lives, family lives, uh, their fortunes, which means their money, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the best, the best cases were in debt the rest of their lives. Washington and Jefferson um, ne never came out of debt. Right. Um, and but they pledged their sacred honor. That meant that that was so important. Their honor it was their, their own personal. Who they were. Who they were. The core of who they it were. It was more important to fight for that, to stand for the flag. Okay, stand for the flag, to not put on the mask. All right, then oh, they're letting us now watch football. So now I get to watch football again. So everything's all right. Or you know, who who won the Oscars? Who's the Oscar winner? <laughs> you know, all this other bull crap. Okay, there are more important things in life, mm -hmm. and that's what comes to mind. Like like your honor. Okay, keeping your honor, mm -hmm. doing what you say you're going to do. That is a rare thing these days. Right. Unfortunately. Doing what? Keep keeping your honor. Okay, honoring those who've helped you. That's, that's another thing, recognizing 
we're such a, a shiny bobble, you know, we go over here and we suck suck everything out of these people, then we go over here and suck everything out of these people, and then we go over here and suck everything out of these people, okay? And we don't honor the people who have gotten us where, where we're at, okay? Um, I, I think of, uh, you know, Ten Commandments, I forget which commandment it is, it's like the, someone correct me here, but honor your mother and your father, okay? All right, it's the yeah, only one that has a promise. Right. After it. Honor your mother and your father. It isn't honor your son and your daughter. Then we've turned that in and now we honor our children. Or we put them we put them above right. with all the sports and everything going on and and um, you know, running around to all the all the stuff and and that doesn't matter, you know, if your kid happens to be truly uh, talented, which is rare, <laughs> by the way. Okay. All right, we like to think our kids are good, you know. But to truly have talent and they're truly driven themselves to do it, that's that's another thing. Right. But we're still not honoring it, not putting them in a place of honor. It's honoring we no longer as a society honor our elders. Uh, you know. Um, you know, we put them out to pasture. Yes. Okay. Um, well, how do you have what's honor in your plumbing business? So you're turning around to the, the business. It's it's honor being honored that you honor your own system, honor your, you know, the way you do things, honor your warranties, okay, stand up, okay. Um, Honoring the relationships you have with, with um, vendors. Yes. Obviously customers. Just have an honor, having a, an attitude of honor um, in your business that will spill out to the rest of your team. Right. And that makes them want to be more honoring as right. well. One of, the, one of the biggest mistakes I see, and it has to do with, the, the, I think the other side of honor, um, the reason we don't have a lot of honor is because we've become a very, 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 very selfish people. And that, I see that selfishness work within our relationships with our vendors, with you know, our plumbing businesses. By there's, I'm not saying that we don't hold our vendors accountable, but there's this thing like our vendors owe us, and we kind of beat our vendors up. Even when they make mistakes or right. this is going to happen, instead of working the problem and saying, well, how can we make this better? It's, it's just to beat them up. Right. And, um, Work through the problem. Right. Okay. Find the solution. If there isn't one to be found, then obviously you're going to make a change. Right. But There's a lot to that word, word honor. honor. And, is today uh, Flag Day? Didn't you know, there used to be a thing as Flag Day. I, for some reason, I've always thought, always, I just think June 14th is Flag Day. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Right. Is that something to honor? Right. right. You know, the reason I, you know, we just had June 6th, you know, when we stormed Normandy. And you see these pictures, and they're really boys. I mean, they're boys. And they, on, they, they called, you know, they honored their call. They didn't want to go, I mean, and, you know. And they're the ones that made it possible so that we actually can have the life that we have today. And we can honor that by... It's the reason why I, I, I can't watch football anymore. I won't watch any more professional football. Or baseball. Or baseball, or whatever. So instead of just playing the freaking game, you got these multi gazillion bucks who I wouldn't trust to run a Dairy Queen. You know, just because they can run with a ball or, you know, dunk a ball or hit a ball doesn't mean they're, that, that's anything. But we don't, the reason we can even do these kinds of things is because we had men like that who gave the sacrifice. We honor that. So me watching, I can't watch football any longer because I'm not, I doesn't honor the man who died to give me the ability to live the kind of freedom life that I have. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, because I'm supporting an organization that wants to preach at me that the, that the flag is um, racist and, and sucks and, America, and sucks. America sucks and all this kind of stuff sucks. Therefore, these men suck who actually died for that. You can't, you can't get past that. So that's why I kind of go off on a tangent on this sometimes. And also, you know, I won't support that any longer because it, like, it doesn't honor the men who came before me who made it possible for me and my family to live the life that I, that I live. Right. So, so that's the difference between honoring. That's why I don't get caught up in all these days. You know, I see the guys posting stuff and big on this, you know, happy this day, happy that day, Maybe. Memorial Day or uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, but you watch football. You're not honoring the men. It's, it's just all... It's all um, uh, you know, just kind of waving your own little flag and look at me, look at I'm, you know, yeah. whatever. So anyway, I kind of went off the deep end you there. Yeah, I did. Oh, all right. All right. Honor. 
Okay, honor is honor is a big deal. Um, it separates one of the things that separates men from the boys. And, the teacher um, boys. Right. Teacher and, boys. And it's a tough thing because it, it demands that you make a decision, such as pledging your life, your fortune, and your sacred honor. Okay, boys boys don't do that. Most men today wouldn't do that. Teacher. Sadly, we don't have that happening. Mom, teacher boys, men, teacher right. boys. Okay, so. that's a that's a big deal. Good word. All right. Okay, kind of serious there. <laughs> Hey, but, but that's more important than the plumbing business. There are, there are things, guys, that are more important than making money. And honor is one of them. Okay. Yep. All right, so be on the lookout for big changes coming. Potty talk. Right. Big, massive, huge changes. Yes. Can't wait to show you. Other all right. than that. Looking for that. Other yes. than that, hey, seize your week, all right? Make the most out of the day. All right, do that one thing today that you don't want to do. Okay? Push that business forward. Do it anyway. Okay? And as always, fun like a champion.